politics took center stage at a forum in Sarasota for candidates who are running for city commission. A large crowd gathered at the Sarasota Municipal Auditorium to hear what these candidates had to say. ABC 7's Rick Adams is joining us live from there tonight with more. Rick. Yeah, Haley, the forum wrapped up here just a short while ago. The candidates did have a chance to have their voices heard. Hundreds of registered voters had a chance to take in and listen to what Sarasota City Commissioner candidates had to say. There were eight candidates battling for two at-large seats. I think it's important to check out who's running and where, how they stand and what their issues are and if they're the same as mine. Seven of the eight candidates were tackling the city's important issues at Wednesday night's forum, including the homeless problem, affordable housing and traffic, among many other issues. I'd like to hear answers as if uh, transportation plans, what, how they, um, um, what are the demographics, what are they pursuing, what's, what's the uh, economic um, um, end goal for for the community. If the huge crowd at this forum is any indication of things to come, voter turnout in March should be pretty significant. One of the main reasons the Sarasota Underground online publication organized this event is to get many more voters interested in this election. Typically, turnout for city elections hovers around 20 percent. If we could get to something like 25 percent, that would be huge. Um, but it's ridiculous because we should be talking about getting to 70 or 80 percent, not getting to 20 percent. There were seven candidates at the forum instead of all eight because organizers say they had to pull the invitation from one of the candidates, Matt Sperling. The candidates who were in the hot seat tonight include current city commissioner Susan Chapman, Martin Hyde, Mikhail Sandstrom, Hagen Brody, Fred Atkins, Jennifer Ahern Koch, and Patrick Gannon. Everybody's got a different view of which direction they want to go. And as you can see by downtown, I think we've gone in the wrong direction. And the election is just a few short weeks away. It'll take place on Tuesday, March 14th. Reporting live from Sarasota this evening, I'm Rick Adams.